everybody and I'm really happy uh, to introduce to you Eleonor Picciotto with whom we're going to start to collaborate a bit more actively because she uh, has an expert eye on the world of jewelry and obviously we're going to talk about jewelry timepieces uh, together. So get a custom of uh, seeing her more often on the Watches TV and get a custom also to maybe a strange little voice that she has today but this is only for today isn't it Eleonor? Thank you Basil Ward for that. <laughs> Okay, so the two reports that we're going to produce uh, uh, today with this uh, Basel World uh, 2018 edition. And the first one, we're going to focus on uh, high-end, uh, well, high jewelry timepieces. So please give me your, uh, your selection of uh, most interesting, astonishing pieces that you saw here. It's been actually really hard to find which are the ones that we really wanted to talk about, but we've shortcut about five pieces starting with the high jewelry Serpanti from uh, Bulgari which is an astounding piece of jewelry set with turquoise diamonds and um, set on rose gold that you that can entwine um, around the wrist as most Serpenti watches with a secret watch on the head of the snake. So well thought and so well constructed that once you have it on your wrist you don't actually feel it which is very nice. The way the turquoise is actually set next to the brilliant cut um, diamonds makes such a rendering between the the opacity of the turquoise next to the brilliance of the diamonds. All right, number two. Number two, I must say that the high jewelry secret wash from Graf, which doesn't really have one specific name, but is one of their latest, latest release, is set with over 35.7 carats of diamonds all in which you can find Marquis cut diamonds, opal diamonds, brilliant cut, emerald cut. You, when, when you open just the little side on the dial, you can read the time and then when you close it up, it's just a regular diamond bracelet with the kind of substantial um, width on the wrist, which makes it a high jewelry piece and a bracelet at the same time. All right, nice. Number three. Number three. Um, number three. I'm going to say that the chronograph air fusion from Hublot is amazing, not, by the, not because of it, its case, but on the gem set that has been done on the actual work, the dial, the bezel, and the entire case, you can find over 308 diamonds that have been hand cut one by one for a weight of about 16.20 carats of diamond as if you could see a rolling wheel moving on your dial on on the actual on your actual wrist and it's a flabbergasting um, effect yeah it's uh, quite impressive number four number four um, is with no argue the de Grisogono luna diamante um, high jewelry timepiece where you can find on the bracelet about six emerald cut diamonds that have been set um, three on one side, three on the other for a weight of between five to ten carats each, which comes down to a total of about 50 carats all around the case with um, some sort of like secret emerald paid, paved inside the bracelet. You have obviously snow set diamond the dial on the bezel. It's a wow piece of jewelry there's nothing else i can say about it so last last uh, wow piece please the last wow piece is jacob um, it's actually a tourbillon which is probably out of all the high jewelry time pieces we've been um, showing and seeing uh, during the fair has a big complication which is the tourbillon that you can see at six o'clock on the dial you have about 35 carats of pink sapphire pink, slightly purplish. It's called the Arlequin um, Sapphire, kind of a mystery uh, piece of um, jewelry, and it's invisibly set. So all you can see are the facets of those sapphires that are mixed with different colors. Um, I want to say that if I were to pick one of those fives, I would have no idea which one to pick. I can imagine. Well, after this uh, firework of uh, high-end jewels, have firework of stones, high-end jewelry or jewelry timepieces. I don't know exactly what to, how to explain all this, but uh, yeah, this is kind of a crazy world, another world, another facet of uh, watchmaking, showing another also facet of craftsmanship. It's been actually even more interesting combining the jewelry work to the timepiece work because what 
what amazes most people when you see stones is how big they are. But when you integrate that to the whole craftsmanship of how it's been integrated on a wrist to a specific diameter or a specific width, makes it even more impressive. All right. Thank you very much, Eleanor, and see you real soon.